Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching. I am here for a grocery haul Monday and meal plan Monday and all of that. So I did a little bit different today, you guys. I've never done this before. I know I'm kind of late to the party. Uh, it's because I love grocery shopping. Today I tried out the Walmart grocery pickup. I haven't tried it so far. Number one, our closest Walmart doesn't do it yet. Maybe eventually they will, that would be awesome. Number two, I just love grocery shopping. I love walking around, checking out the new stuff. It's like my me time for the week and I love it. Um, however, um, this weekend I hurt my back. I have a herniated disc in my back. It gives me trouble every now and again. And yesterday it really started flaring up. So I was just thinking, hey, I don't want to go grocery shopping, <laughs> but we needed some stuff, like seriously, but we needed some stuff. We we're out of a bunch of stuff, and I thought, let me just submit a grocery order. There's one by the church. We can pick it up, and um, that's what we did. I am so excited with how it turned out. It was so easy to place the order. They literally were waiting for us. As soon as we pulled in, I hadn't even put the car in park. They were bringing out our groceries. It was super awesome. I needed some heavier items. I didn't have to lift them, bend over, check out, all that stuff. So it really, really helped. It, the Walmart we use is a little bit further away, but if I use it more often, David could pick it up on his way home from work and stuff like that. Um, I would definitely recommend using it. So, and what I also like is if they don't have an item, they will replace it with another item. So say you have an off-brand item and they don't have it, they'll give you the name brand for the same price as the off-brand. And that happened a few times with a couple different things, more sizes of things. So if they don't have a smaller size, they'll give you a bigger size for the same price, basically. So anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around. First, let me share with you my meal plan. I did do that this week. And um, that way you kind of can see where I'm going to be putting these groceries to use. So David and I are still doing keto-ish, I would say, low carb as much as we can. Tonight, I'm going to be doing taco soup. Now, my taco soup is not very, very low carb because it does have some beans in it, um, but I'm not going to put the chips and all that in it, and it, so it should still be, should be pretty low carb. So Monday, taco soup. It just sounded good. It sounded comforting. I'm excited for it. Tuesday, I'm going to have waffles with sausage. This was on the meal plan last week and it never got made. So it would be, it's just, it's a good, easy, quick, keto friendly meal. And um, that's what, that's what I'm doing with sausage probably, or maybe bacon. Wednesday, low carb pizza, keto pizza, fathead dough pizza. So yummy. I thought I could make the dough ahead of time. And then when we get home from church, it'll just be really easy to throw in the oven. Thursday, I'm going to try some broccoli and cheese soup with maybe some sausage on the side for extra protein. Friday, I'm going to do my spaghetti squash Alfredo. Now, they did not have spaghetti squash today, like even on the on the website for me to add to the to my order. So I'll probably be going to Aldi sometime just to get a couple things. I usually go and I'll forget, like we'll run out of milk or we'll run out of something that we really, really need. So I usually go like for a quick fill-in, maybe on Thursday or so. Um, so I'll just pick up the spaghetti squash there. I have everything else I need for that. Saturday, chicken taco salad. That sounds really, really good. Sunday, we usually do leftovers, something quick, something easy, wrap, pizza, pizza um, on a wrap, something like that. Prepping this week, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm doing my keto ranch and I'm doing some sausage balls and I will be showing you. I have a recipe for sausage balls. I've showed you different ones. But this one is like my absolute favorite. It is so good if you're doing low carb or if you're not, it's perfect. It's so good. Okay, let's get into the groceries. And I didn't have to shop for these, you guys. Oh, it was really, really convenient. All of this, I try to stay right around $100. Um, honestly, though, my budget is really like $120. This all came to $90. Actually, it was $100 but I got $10 off for using the service and I'll leave you guys a, a, a link to a discount $10 off code too. Actually, I don't know if it's a code or a link, but anyway, it'll be down in the description box if you guys want to try this service and get $10 off. So all of this would have been a hundred dollars, but I got it for 90. I think it was like 90, 46, something like that. And this is a lot of stuff and a lot of non grocery items. So let's just start over here. 
kids needed some more of their French toast sticks. They really, really like these. It's the original flavor. And we have been loving wraps so much lately. This is just so easy and convenient. We make pizzas out of them, quesadillas, um, like sandwich wraps, whatever. Um, there's eight in a pack, but I went ahead and got two just because we're completely out and I don't want to run out. I got Lucy some more of her like Ritz crackers. She loves taking those as like a little lunchable to school. She's the only one that eats bananas. So I got her three bananas. I probably will have to go back in the week to get her a little bit more, but I don't like buying them all at once because they all go bad and then we don't use them. She likes them pretty green, pretty much just like this. So the next two days it'll be kind of gross. Anyway, whole milk. Diet Dr. Pepper with Cherry, that's David's favorite. This is one of the substitutions. So you guys know the kids like the honey battered tenders. They didn't have that, so they gave them this one, the batter dipped chicken. It's the same thing. It just doesn't have the honey flavor. They've had this before, and they like it okay. So I was okay with that. It's not their favorite, but it'll work. I, I usually buy the taco seasoning in the big package from Sam's, but I'm completely out. So until I get back to Sam's, I just got two of their packets. I need one for my taco soup. I need one for the chicken tacos. So that's what that is. For the broccoli soup, I really wanted the rice broccoli, but they said on the website they were out of stock. Um, they're like little shredded up broccoli pieces. So I just got these broccoli cuts and I'll blend them up myself or something. Um, two bags of those. The kids have been asking me for more applesauce. So I got just a little package of the strawberry apple. Lucy's peppers. You guys know how much she loves these. So we needed more. I also got her and me. I like these too. The cute mini cucumbers. I needed two heads of lettuce. And this was another thing I was pretty worried about doing the grocery pickup. Um, produce, like how, how it would be for somebody else picking out your produce, but they did a really good job. I also had strawberries on this order and they didn't have any strawberries. So I didn't get those. Um, so that's another reason I'll probably have to go to Aldi <laughs> later, but this will get us started. So they did a really good job picking out the produce. Um, I needed some minced garlic. It doesn't want to focus, but minced garlic. Um, I ordered the small one. They didn't have the small one. So they gave me this big one for the same price as the small one. Same thing with this peanut butter. I ordered the small one. Um, this isn't like the most natural. It has like four carbs, but I'm okay with it. I like it a lot better than the natural one. <laughs> this has a little bit of sugar, but I ordered the small one. They gave me the big one at no price because I didn't have it. Um, I've really been loving Greek yogurt with fruit lately. I also use the Greek plain yogurt for... Um, Okay, this is another one. I think I ordered the non-fat and they gave me the whole milk one, which I'm totally cool with because I love the extra fat in it. Um, I, I don't know how the two ingredient dough would be with this. So I might, I might try it and let you guys know. Um, there's like seven carbs, but I really am enjoying this with fruit and it's for three fourths of a cup. I never eat that much at a time. So um, I'm excited about having that. Another substitution, I ordered the triple cheddar cheese and they didn't have it. They gave me sharp cheddar. That's totally fine. This is the main reason I needed a grocery order. <laughs> we are down to no toilet paper, y'all. This is no good. Like we literally have just a few, like, maybe like a fourth of a roll left. And we've been all like, yeah, getting nervous. So more toilet paper. We really like the Walmart Scott knockoff. Okay, something else that's not keto, but I like having it is masa. I like putting a couple tablespoons into a big pot of soup, like my taco soup. I only buy this like very rarely because it takes me forever to go through a whole package, but I'm out and I knew I was making that taco soup. So I'm going to add a couple tablespoons. It really gives your soups a nice like nutty flavor and kind of thickens it just a teeny bit. We were also out of detergent. No good. This is the one we have to use for Nate, the all free and clear. So I went ahead and got a big, huge thing of it. Lucy needed more smoothies. These are the Danimals smoothies. This one is in cotton candy. And then I was so excited they had this. I saw it on the um, on the website and I was like, there's no way they have this because this is what Nate loves is the Oikos uh, strawberries and cream. And I never have seen it in a four pack. They only have it in the individual. So I went ahead and added it to my cart and they actually had it. So Yay, Greek yogurt. Um, he loves the strawberry flavor. I've been loving pickles lately. It just has really been helping. Um, I don't know. It's helping me with keto. And I'm out. So I got some of the little tiny dill gherkins. 
let's see. Okay, this is for the taco soup. I needed a can. Like I said, these are not super low carb, but they're whole foods. I'm okay with it. A can of black beans, a can of pinto beans, and I will link below my recipe for taco soup. It's super good and super easy. A can of tomato sauce and a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. For the sausage balls, I needed some hot ground sausage and I got this Tennessee pride kind. And, um, for bacon for the week, we love bacon. I've never tried the great value kind. I'm really nervous about store brand bacon. I've had bad experiences with it being really fatty and stuff. This looks pretty good. So I'll let you guys know it was a lot cheaper. Our favorite better cheddar sausages. We also were completely out of dryer sheets. I like the all free and clear of that too. And then we needed, we were all out. We had like, I've been squeezing the toothpaste too, y'all. Um, toothpaste. I needed more toothpaste. Layla needed more dog food. So I get her the Iams small and toy breed dog food. That's the kind she uses the most. Sometimes I'll get her something different, but she really likes that. And then um, just some white round top bread. The kids have been loving that. And it's like 88 cents. I make Nate grilled cheese with it. Um, Lucy just has it like a, like kind of like an open face sandwich and, uh, you know, it works. So that is everything for my first experience of the Walmart grocery pickup. I cannot believe how fast it was, how good it was and just the prices of everything. And I'm just realizing now, I think that $90 was with the strawberries. So they should have taken that off. So even less. So I'll have a little bit of more money to use later in the week to run in and get some strawberries, run in and get a spaghetti squash, and maybe some extra milk. Other than that, we should be good to go with everything we have here. Yay. Um, <laughs> have you, okay, this is what I want to know. Have you guys tried the Walmart grocery pickup? Have you had good experiences with it? Has it helped you stay on budget? That's another thing. It really helped me to see the price as I was adding stuff to the cart. I was able to see the price and be like, okay, no, that's too much. No, it's getting a little bit too high. I need to cut some stuff out. It was really, really helpful for the budget. And I got a lot of stuff. I feel like I got a lot of stuff for less than 90 bucks. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, that referral link will be linked down below. I believe if you guys use it, I get $10 off my next order um, if I do it again, which we definitely will be doing it again. It was super convenient. And like I said, it being so close to David's work, It'll be really nice for if I need something for him to go and be able to pick it up for me. And he's right there. I'll leave that link down below for you guys. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys all later.